Hello, moviegoers, and welcome to another edition of Have You Seen It? I am your host, Denise, and I'm going to fly right into this review. Um, the movie I'm going to review this week is called Plane. Not The Plane or De Plane. It is Plane. And it stars Gerard Butler, Mike Coulter, and Tony Goodwin. Those are the three actors who um, you might know from other movies or TV and are familiar with. Okay. This movie gets straight to the point. It's a movie about a, a pilot who um, starts his journey to the, you know, through the airport terminal on a phone call, FaceTime with his daughter who's in Hawaii. And they are um, confirming that he is on his way to visit with her. It's New Year's Eve. Um, he assures her, after I, you know, make this first stop, I'm on my way to Hawaii. I'm not going to be late. I'm going to be there. So that kind of sets up the movie. Uh, when we get to the plane, you know, as pilots do, they're checking in, making sure everything is working right. They, they, they checking the console, everything, everything's fine. Passengers board the plane. This is a very light flight. That's the first time I've heard that term, but it's a light flight with less than 20 passengers um, on the flight. So although they know that there may be some inclement weather along the way, because this flight is light, the plane should be able to travel through with um, little to no issues. Now, one passenger that they did not expect to be on this flight is um, Louis Gaspar, who is played by Mike Coulter. He is a prisoner who is uh, making an international uh, trek to his next destination, which will be behind bars somewhere. But he is with a uh, security personnel. Personnel assures the captain and the flight attendants that you don't have to worry about him. I've got him. Just separate us from the other passengers so that, you know, they aren't alarmed and they aren't terribly fearful. Flight takes off. Everything is fine. They do hit a little bit of turbulence. You know, we got a bumpy ride going on here. We kind of work through that. But then lightning strikes the plane, which now... Um, we're in a much more disastrous situation. So the plane does go down, but the plane goes down in a remote island somewhere in the Philippines, somewhere in that area. Um, you know, they're stranded for the time being. Of course, all the electronics and everything that could allow them some form of communication is down for the count and now they are on a survival mission with everything that they had on the plane and just trying to figure out what they're going to do. So fast forward, Gerard Butler, Captain Brody Torrance decides, hey, I'm going to look around this island and see if there's anybody around that can help us. Let me see what I find. And you guys stay put. I'll be back. Well, he does that. And of course, he has an interaction with um, a couple of gentlemen and they are too friendly. And now he realizes that, oh, damn, uh, where am I? What's going on here? So he and uh, Louis Gasper decide to kind of, you know, put their heads together and say, hey, we're pretty much all we've got and we are probably the best um, choice for survival for any of us. So we've got to put our heads together. They've both got experience with weaponry, as you will see in this movie, and they kick a lot of ass and they do it very, very well. Um, so the people that they have encountered are a band of rebels who basically have taken over this particular remote island and there is no government um, to, to intervene. 
um, and to hold these rogue characters accountable for anything that they do. So kidnapping seems to be their M.O. And um, you see a little clip of that in the movie that kind of gives you an idea of, of what could possibly happen to the passengers of this plane. So you just fast forward and there you have it. Fighting, gunfighting. Of course, the prisoners, uh, the 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 um, crew members and the passengers on the plane are now possibly going to be kidnapped and maybe held for ransom. You know, we're, we're not sure, but basically the captain and the prisoner have to save the lives of everybody. The military is finally uh, in on this because you know, as planes go down, people kind of know that they're off the radar. We got to find them. They are located. But now the mission is how do we get these prisoners and how do we get them off of this remote island? So there you have it. Um, we've seen this type of action before, whether it's a plane movie or any other genre where you have one guy who's got all the skills, all the know-how, all the background knowledge of how to get himself out of situations like this. And there you have it. I thought it was a good movie. It was entertaining. And as you know, I'm a 90 minute girl when it comes to movies. So this movie was just under two hours. Perfect. Action packed. It was intense, even paced throughout. And I think that the acting was okay. You know, it wasn't corny. It wasn't, you know, that type of movie. Um, so if you want to watch a thriller and, um, a pretty good one, I would say I give this about a, a good seven on, on my scale, a good seven. I think you'll enjoy plain. So check that out at theaters, um, starring Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter. All right, folks, so I'm going to jump right into my Nailed It. And my Nailed It for this week is a movie that came out somewhere in the 1970s. I saw this movie when I was a child. Play Misty for me. But the character in this movie that was crazy, Jessica Walters, she had a an obsession for... Clint Eastwood's character, he was a DJ, and they had kind of like a one-night stand, no big deal, but of course she couldn't let it go, wasn't going to let it go, and she was going to kill him to prove her point. You want to see something pre-Fatal Attraction? Check out Play Misty for me. And there you have it. All right, folks, so you can subscribe to our channel. Just type in, have you seen it? with Denise and there I will be and I am available on every podcast platform in the universe just type in as I just said uh have you seen it with Denise and there I will be all right so folks until next week I need you to go see a movie because I'm gonna watch a movie and we'll meet back here next week bye-bye